Hey everyone, blessings on your Palm Sunday. It's kind of hard not, not being together, waving our palms and <clears throat> celebrating communion, um, but this is the next best thing. So in just a minute, um, we, we're going to have the uh, religious part of today's programming, but to begin, I'd like to do some spiritual stuff with you, and spiritual stuff being how we are in community, how we live out our faith. And one of the things that, that I would like to do today is just to kind of remember some people in our community. So we have some birthdays coming up this week that I thought, you know, we need to celebrate in this uh, in this day and age with the restrictions that we're under. So. I know somebody has a very special birthday today, Miss Lucy Hankey. It's her birthday today, and it was her family's idea that, that maybe I start sharing about birthdays when I have this opportunity. So um, happy birthday, Lucy Hankey. But we have a lot of birthdays going on, have happened and will be happening. So a special shout out to um, Patrick Ferguson, who had a birthday on April 3rd. Peggy Hamburger, whose birthday was April 4th. Um, Tom Walshman, you got a birthday coming up tomorrow. Happy birthday. And Jackie Kotke and Kylie Lichtenwald, you share the same birthday, and that's coming up on April 7th. Lee Hop has a birthday on April 9th, and Jesse Demler has a birthday on April 10th. And from the Zion community, we have birthdays that happened this past week for Ashley Jakowski and Braden Nolan. This, uh, he was on Friday, and we have Annis Dalkey and Amber Dushak at, um, that had a birthday on Saturday. And on Tuesday, Adam Respalgi, and I apologize not only to Adam, but to his entire clan if I've mispronounced that name. So, um, you know, we're all about love in this community. So thank you. And along with Adam, Lane Zimdars has a birthday on Tuesday. Revan Schmuel has a birthday on this Thursday. And on Saturday, Terry Otto celebrates a birthday. So special happy birthdays to all of you. And we have some anniversaries I'd like to celebrate with folks as well. So from the Zion community on April 1st, Walter and Kathy Lazenegger, sorry again if I made a mess of that name, celebrated an anniversary. On April 2nd, Steve and Barb Vandbrink had, uh, had a celebration uh, anniversary. And coming up very soon, John and Connie Hynek are coming up to a, a anniversary. And at St. Stephen's, congratulate Wayne and Shelley Schmidt, who celebrated a wedding anniversary on April 4th. And Chris and Jeff Smith, you got one coming up this week. So happy anniversary, everybody. So yes, we can continue to celebrate even when we have to be apart. So we've got some exciting things coming up this week because it is Holy Week. And so we're going to be continuing to meet on Wednesdays with the one o'clock Bible study and the seven o'clock social gathering. You folks are being amazing at learning this stuff and being patient with me as I try to figure out uh, the technology to make these things possible. So thank you so very, very much. Please note for anybody who wants to join us on Wednesday, uh, I understand that Zoom has tightened up uh, some of their requirements in order to get on, because I guess that somebody was bombing Zoom meetings. So be sure you have that password handy, because you're probably going to have to enter it in order to get into the meeting. And when you enter a meeting, um, I need to be there because you're going to go to a waiting room and I need to say, oh, I know that person. I'm going to let them into our meeting. And then I have to let you click in to the meeting. So for all of you who'd like to join us on Wednesday, please do and please be prepared for the extra things you may have to do in order to get to the meeting. On Thursday night, we're going to have a very special Monday Thursday worship. And I hope you will gather with me at that time, maybe around the dinner hour, and uh, have your family with you, maybe have some food and some beverage as we celebrate Monday, Thursday together. And on Good Friday, 
we have a unique Zoom experience that some folks from both congregations have helped me put together. And so I hope you will join us sometime on Friday night for a very powerful Good Friday celebration. And finally, as always, we need your offerings. The church has not died. The church has not closed. Our doors just can't be open right now. And so please, we are um, in dire need of your offerings. So please be sure to send them to us through the U.S. Post Office or uh, talk to the church secretary, call the church and leave a message and we can get you hooked up with a Simply Giving program where uh, it's an automatic deduction out of your bank account. If you would like to do just um, a bill pay that you have the control when and where um, that money goes, I can help you get set up on a bill pay within your own uh, banking, your own bank on internet banking. So please remember us uh, as you go through these struggles. And I know some of you have lost jobs and income is really, really tight. So, you know, I, I get it if you can't give an offering, um, but we, we could sure use your offerings as we keep being the church when we can't gather as the church. So I'm hoping that now um, the announcements are done. Uh, we will move on to the religious portion of our program. And please click on the link that says the passion reading. Earlier this week, some of my colleagues and I got together and did a dramatic reading of the Gospel of Matthew. And we'd like to share that with you. So thank you for being with us and for being the church together. See you next time.